channel. All right, guys, another episode of Bath where we talk about powers, abilities, and feats. Let's start off with obviously the powers. So obviously, Robert McCall doesn't have powers, um, but let's explain what he does have. He can examine a room under a few seconds, pointing out details from objects to people he's dealing with. Uh, he can put a room full of armed men down in under 10 seconds. Very calculative and superior reflexes. Abilities. Expert marksman, military training, former special ops training, commander of a special military unit, heightened senses, strategical mind, expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and weapons specialist. Now, um, I'm not sure if it was military based or if it was like CIA operatives or something like that, so I'm going to just say government official or black, uh, special ops just to play it safe as far as his, uh, his background on that. Um, and let's talk about the feats. There's a lot of them. Equalizer 1. Russian boss plays of business takes out six men in under 28 seconds using some corkscrews their own blades against them their own guns against them shot glass and a glass table found the man who robbed the home mart just by observing his tats clothing vehicle and accessories used only a sludge hammer as a weapon to get it back able to tell if you're a police officer based on how to ask him questions diner scene Able to notice the difference between a working man's hands and a killer's hands. Took a big dude out despite having the standing position, a gun in his hand. He did this using a book and a diner table. After that, then takes down one armed officer without killing him. Uh, back alley brawl. Two corrupt officers had his back against the wall and a gun pointed at him and he managed to bash one officer's face to the concrete wall pavement and the other he disarmed and got him onto the ground. Guns rolled in reverse this time. Drug house operation. Took down an entire drug operation just by threatening the main guy by snatching the gun right off his hands. Tied all the goons up and left them in a cooler with an entire warehouse pallets worth of cash. In his apartment, he prepared by creating another spot for monitoring his place using a bunch of tiny cameras hidden all over his house. His other place was across the street. Home Mart. Um, highly trained hitmen all take down by home appliances. One guy he hung using barbed wire noose and tons of sack of manure. One guy with a tree branch cutter stitched himself up when he got shot using a blowtorch and a doorknob to stop the wound from bleeding so much. One guy using a power drill. His ultimate challenge was the big guy with the funny mustache. Took time but a few fighting techniques and several glass stab wounds. He finally got the big man down. One guy he took setting up the break room as a bomb trap using the microwave as the trigger and the flammable mini propane tanks to be the spark. Then the final bad guy he gunned down using a nail gun to end him himself. Now let's talk about Equalizer 2. Train scene. Defeated four, use, defeated four men using a teapot, hot water, teaspoon, glass cup. He manages to get one of them to stab themselves and snap his neck before he did the unspeakable thing to the last main guy. Rich Butthole's apartment. Sliced one guy's forehead with his own expensive credit card. Dislocated one man's arm. Dislocated another man's arm and neck. And Mike Tyson the crap out of one until he fell down to the ground. And was out conscience. Um, and bounced the head off the glass table with another guy. The last guy he left standing, he didn't leave without a souvenir. To remind the butt liquor what he did, he had the guy say the woman's name he harmed while snapping his left hand's fingers apart from each other. Noticed his apartment had an unexpected visitor and knew how to scope out the area before entering the apartment and immediately puts his defense down defenses down when he notices a familiar perfume smell able to notice small details like her friend like his friend who got murdered she uh, never pressed the elevator button to her level and the murderers did he can tell murderers seen cover up by just by examining the room how he, with certain things were positioned noticing again details like how someone's wife was shot by a left-handed person when it was supposedly a right-handed shooter who did it which is in this case was supposedly uh to be her husband gang's house 
took the front door guard down with a blow to the neck and one clean punch and took his gun. Another by bashing his head onto a wall pavement and another by pistol bashing and tossing him into the elevator. To finish off his madness, he barges into a room filled with gang members strapped up pointing guns all over their faces just to get a kid that he liked miles out of that place. Passenger. He picks up a passenger and immediately knows he's an assassin because she, he wasn't concerned about his location. The man was behind him and still managed to fight him off with the blade that he had in his hand and maneuvering by maneuvering the vehicle. Finished the man off with his own gun while spinning the car in all types of directions. The five remaining former colleagues of his, he showed no mercy. Him and his wife's beach house. Bad weather usually doesn't favor anyone, but it did Robert. Used it plenty of times to avoid being sniped or seen. Harpoon gunned one guy to death, diced a man to death, cutting up certain parts of his body to finish him. Last guy he blows up using bags of flour, several fans, and the spark was the man tossing his flash grenade in there. Last guy had a sniper distance on him and he got close to his face and finished him one on one using a blade to severe his tendons and his body and devastating blows to the lungs along with cutting the back of his neck to bleed him out. Equalizer 3 The Vineyard in Sicily. Sicily. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Apologies you guys. Sicily. Sorry. That's how you say it. He shot one guy down in his chest. He took another down with his butcher knife. He took two guys down using some flame torch and a mirror. Another he took out using a cutting knife jammed into a blade. Gunned down another guy. Gunned down about four more guys in this wine cellar. Took another man in the wine cellar before three guys got gunge points at his face. From there, in nine seconds, he took out four armed men. And one was a crime boss and had a gun pointed to his temple and another close to his face. One he used his gun to shoot his partner in the leg and head. Then he used it to gun another one of the bad guy's associates down. Used another as a shield against the crime boss's bullets. Jammed the gun into the shield guy and used the gun to nail the crime boss down to the ground. He took out at least 15 men alone in this scene. Blew the crime boss eye out of his socket with a gunshot close range just to be clear. Altamonte, Italy. Hopefully I said that right. Dinner. In front of the top guy's men, he grabbed his hand and applied pressure in one area that if he reached a four in pain would have had the guy crap himself, which made him completely compliant to all of McCall's demands, including handing him his gun before leaving him to be to eat a salad. The alley brawl. Wasn't much of a brawl as the young top guy thought he would execute Robert when he got out, but reality was Robert was already 10 steps ahead of him. Four guys in total. One was getting the van for the guy and another was being told by the top guy to hand him his piece. When suddenly the man in the van rams the other guy with the car to the wall. The guy in the van had gotten taken out which made him hit the other guy. The third guy he walked up with a bottle of wine and smashed it to his skull. The top guy he snapped his elbow the opposite way and then he got stabbed multitudes of times by his own hands as Robert used his broken one to do a version of why are you hitting yourself. He then jams the blade into his neck to finish him off. The Gamora crime boss is home. He took out a guy having a cigarette using a blade to the neck to do it. He baited him out of his post using a car alarm. Shot another man out the window before entering the premises. Shot another three from out the window and then entered. Jammed a pitchfork into the guy monitoring the place through and through the neck. Another he did with a blade to the back of the head drawing his suffering to catch the attention of the next victim which he took out with a piano wire. Dropped another guy onto the boss's bed while he was sleeping from above hanging him on his ankles with a blade jammed into him. 
knocked the main boss out, and then tied him down with a piano wire for a brief moment, only to make sure the drugs he has been selling onto the street is full and is in blood system where there is no turning back. Then he let him go and watched as he crawled out of his home looking for a solution. What he found was a car ramming and an ODing situation in an alley somewhere. And that is all the bath for Robert McCall. Hopefully you guys liked this. If you did, share, like, and subscribe as always.